Einstein's declaration that the speed of light is constant, well, that's perhaps the most famous of all scientific sentences. But what does it actually mean, right? The speed of light being constant. Well, to explain that, let me first use an example without light, something more familiar like a baseball. So imagine I've got a baseball in my hand right here, and I can throw it towards you at, say, 100 miles an hour. That's a bit of a stretch, but stay with me. Now, if you're standing still, then the ball's going to whisk by you at 100 miles per hour. But if you, say, run away from me as I'm throwing that ball toward you, run away, say, at 5 miles an hour, the ball will approach you less quickly, at 95 miles an hour, because you're running away from it. And if you run toward me as I throw the ball, it'll approach you more quickly. If you're running at 5 miles an hour, it might approach you, therefore, at 105 miles an hour. So the point is, by virtue of your motion, your speed, you can increase or decrease the speed with which the ball approaches you as you measure it. When it comes to light, Einstein is saying that is not the case. Whether you run toward or away from a beam of light, its speed will be unchanged when you measure it. So let me show you visually what that would look like. So let's imagine I've got two characters, George with a laser pointer and Gracie over here with a device that can measure the speed of light. George fires light toward her, and she measures it and gets the familiar, well-known answer of 300 million meters per second. But now let's do a version of the little experiment that we described where Gracie is going to run away or toward George, and let's see what she measures. So if she runs away, you'd think the speed she'll measure will be less than 300 million meters per second, but she gets exactly 300 million meters per second unchanged. Let's do the reverse. Imagine that she run toward George, and as she runs toward him, you think that the speed would go up that she'd measure, but again, she gets exactly the same answer. Unchanged, constant, 300 million meters per second. And just in case you're wondering, if it's George that does the running, if he runs toward Gracie, you'd think the speed she'll measure goes up, but the speed that she gets for the light beam is again 300 million meters per second. And if George runs away from her, you'd think that the speed of the light she'll measure will go down. Again, 300 million meters per second, unchanged. Speed of light is constant, independent of the speed of who's getting the light, the receiver, who's sending the light, the source. The speed of light that's measured is unchanged. Now that's kind of crazy. How could speed behave that way when it comes to the speed of light. And the answer is that space and time do not behave as we would think based on everyday experience. And that is why we care so much about this result.